Alright, so I'm here with Double, who is a TDS mod. He has the War Machine. And I've been having a question. Is the War Machine actually good? I don't know what he's saying about my avatar colors. But War Machine, as you may know, is one of the only towers that is inaccessible to the public. The only other one being Mecha Base. And although I've done a review on it, I really haven't done more of like a proper review on it. I did a showcase on it, yes, where I showcased its stats and levels, but I never actually did like a full-on review, like kind of what I did for the engineer. So yeah, today I'm going to head into a game and I'm going to really try and see how much of a difference a uh, war machine makes. So yeah, here we go. Let's see. Is the war machine really worth it? And in a minute, I'll say why that's even a question for me. All right, here we go. I'm going to vote fallen mode. And as I was saying in the lobby, why is this even a question to me? You may be saying War Machine, really strong tower, 20% damage buff. Of course, it's worth it. But everybody who's seen War Machine clearly knows that the upgrades are really expensive. We've got Commander here who can buff our towers by up to 55%. Is it worth it spending like 80k on a tower that's only buffing our towers by 20%? I'm going to really try to see how noticeable the difference is. Uh, maybe Double can place, like, his War Machine over here or something, which will mean that the War Machine is just barely going to see, like, a golden mini and not actually attack the track. And we get to compare the DPS. Also, we just leak some enemies. I'm going to get more Golden Scouts next wave because uh, this isn't going to work out. All right, so I just asked him how much the base level costs. He said it's 2k. Don't know what it was in the past. I'm going to put up on screen what it was in the past if it was different. If I didn't put up anything on screen, that means it was 2k. And on this wave, Double should be getting his War Machine. Right here it is. Uh, that is pretty strong. It costs 2k. So yeah, that is actually a pretty incredible DPS for 2k. A comparable tower would be the Minigunner. That is doing a great job as- oh wait, it's level 2. Well, level 2 DPS on it is um, quite known for being really massive. It used to be like 130. Now it's lower. Still seems like it's shredding. Well, I'm gonna have to see when slightly tougher enemies start coming out. Okay, we've got another boss. And this is approximately how much damage we're getting for a level 2 war machine. I'm trying to get him to check how much he spent on it. Because you see the total spent thing. He is not replying. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let's see what he says um, when he says it. So he spent 7.9k, so almost 8k on this uh, level 3 war machine. Now, all of our towers are getting a 10% damage buff. Is it noticeable? Well, these bosses have a shield, so it's not exactly noticeable on the scouts. But let's see. It's still attacking a boss. Uh, there you go. 10 damage per shot? Well, that's how much Scout does normally. It's supposed to be doing 11 damage per shot. Okay, yeah. It's doing 11 damage per shot, so the 10% damage buff is, in fact, working. Now, for 650, we could get a 10% fire rate buff using the Commander. So, you know, that kind of overpowers the Engineer a little bit for a cheap price. But dang, the War Machine's range is pretty big. I saw it attacking until, like, this area. And that was enough to kill that Fallen. Okay, this wave is looking a little bit tough. Uh, never mind. We're good. Okay, now it's up to level 4. He spent 20k on this already. And I'm honestly going to sell all of my scouts. Because I just want to see how good the war machine is going to do on its own. And here's the DPS you're getting for about 20k. And not to mention it has a 10% damage increase. Uh, let me get a golden mini here outside of the range of the war machine, like right here. Um, once I get my money. Never mind, it has the 10% buff. Uh, even further then. Never mind, it still has the 10% buff. So the war machine's range is clearly huge. What about right here? Alright. Uh, next upgrade he's saying is 75k. So let's invest 20k into this golden mini. And see how strong it's going to be. Alright, so 20k almost is going to be... Uh, the next level, actually, I need to get a max level scout right here and set it on strongest to help out with that boss. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, one second. We've got a little bit of um, a problem right here. Okay, we took a lot of damage. Uh, we were fine, though. But as I was saying, max level golden mini is um, something that is pretty close in price to the level 4 war machine. And max level golden mini does a lot of damage actually a lot more than war machine i believe here's my max level golden mini uh there's our dps from the stats he's giving us that's around a hundred dps now of course there's the missiles so on crowds 
the level 4 war machine can actually outperform this golden mini. Now, there's pros and cons to these, of course. Like, the golden mini has hidden detection, but the war machine, on the other hand, has damage buff. Now, I'm curious, how much damage is this golden mini going to be doing? It's probably going to be really hard to tell because the majority of the time it's going to be attacking enemies that have a shield. But, in my editor, I'll be able to slow down and see when it's attacking enemies that don't have a shield, and I'll let you know how much damage it's doing. So, you know how effective the shield really is. I'm going to place a golden mini right here. And I'm going to get a DJ because, honestly, we're going to need it to max that war machine. And there you go. We got a max level war machine. So, this thing has really good DPS. Uh, not as good as accelerators, I believe. So, we got a tank. A tank. A strong tank. A strong tank that is going to require another golden mini and a commander. But you see, this commander is giving them a 45% fire rate buff, which is already more than double what the max level war machine can give for a major fraction of the price. Max level war machine here has 180 DPS, not including the missiles. Uh, looking at that missile DPS, it is actually a lot of missile DPS. So we're looking probably a little over 200 DPS on this thing. If I'm wrong, I assume I'm not wrong by too much because these missiles aren't like absolutely annihilating. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, this one commander was able to give us more than the war machine for so much less of a price now war machine is a passive buff commander only gives as much as it does if you're chaining it but still the commander's passive buff is pretty big it's 25 percent still more than the buff from the war machine and also take a look at this this golden mini still does two damage per shot that's because it's kind of rounded down because of the war machine so it's not going to work great with lower level towers. Now, I know this probably sounds stupid for me to talk about lower level towers because by the time you're able to afford a war machine, you're definitely going to have more expensive towers. And this game is looking absolutely chaos. I'm going to move my stuff. I think I know a good way to describe the war machine's buff and I call it more of like a sort of like finale buff. If you have a crap ton of money left over, well, you're going to have something to use it on for not too great of a buff. But this still doesn't really answer the question is the war machine worth it like if it was on sale right now in the shop would i be using it honestly i'd say no he just said it costs 80k so probably looking pretty close to the cost of an engineer and the engineer's dps is like close to three times higher than the war machines if i'm honest 95k so yeah no this is definitely more expensive than the engineer because he's saying without well, DJ. But I was saying earlier, if this was a bit, as I was saying, I wouldn't really use it. It's kind of too expensive for what it does. If you're going with a commander and DPS combo, which is kind of like this tower just merged into one. It's both a support and DPS tower. But if you're getting a commander and accelerator, you're getting way more DPS than this thing. And the commander itself, more of a support than the war machine. It's also probably a little bit unusual to criticize a tower that's not even available to the public but i'm imagining that it at one point is going to be available to the public clearly i don't think this is going to be its final stats but i'm still going to criticize it nonetheless because there's absolutely nothing left in tds literally i have to make videos about a tower that's not even in the game if i want content ideas in order for it to be balanced honestly all it needs is just like a huge price decrease because trying to stuff it in a loadout as is right now wouldn't exactly work out it doesn't have hidden detection it's kind of expensive and there's a placement limit on this thing it's either like 8 or 10 so it would not exactly work out as your pure late game dps which is what you could do with accelerator you could use accelerator purely as your late game dps with another tower to help it out you probably could do it with war machine it's honestly still a strong tower although we are already on wave 40 and i didn't even notice okay let me sell my farms and uh let's see how quickly we're going to be able to deal with the fallen king it is going to be 20 percent quicker obviously maybe not exactly because um you know the cost we probably could have afforded some other towers with the money that we spent on the war machines there you go there's our dps from a bunch of golden minis and accelerators buffed by the war machine probably not even that noticeably different from uh no war machines at all if i'm honest i'm gonna ask him to sell the war machines and see if he actually does it in time but i don't think he will he never actually did it i wanted to see if there was going to be a noticeable difference well that concludes it war machine right there probably isn't that useful so yeah if you enjoyed i guess like subscribe and see ya